Yeah, these uh, these panels are really fun to do. Well, that's nice. Yeah. Well, uh, how I actually got into the striping thing was I had a striper who used to do all my work for me. Um, and I was amazed at how he did it. He'd come to my house and he'd stripe a car or a truck of mine and or my motorcycle. And, and I would watch him. I was just watch him pulling these lines. And pulling lines was one thing. Getting a design was another. And how did he do that? And then I would go to the car shows and I'd see these guys striping, guys and girls, and all the different things and the colors. But it was just, it was all part of the car culture. And uh, so I wanted to do it and uh, didn't know how to get started, didn't know anything. I knew what my striper had done, I knew what he used, but you know, you don't know the particulars. It was uh, January, uh, well, probably the beginning of February of 13. And uh, I'd got all the things I needed and uh, went to the uh, store, bought the paint, bought the correct brush, and I started striping, I started practicing. Where it went after that, I would have never guessed, I would have never dreamed. Um, and that's how I actually got in, uh, this kind of thing. What other artists, uh, contemporary or otherwise, do you, uh, are you inspired by? Well, my mentor was Rick Grindle, who, he's the guy that, I knew for a lot of years, and he's the one that um, used to stripe on everything I ever owned. Uh, when I finished this, he striped my firewall and my, my dashboard uh, right before he had passed. Uh, and, uh, and he had done some show signs for me, but he had striped all my street trucks, my motorcycles, a couple cars. And he was my uh, he was my my mentor. He was the guy that uh, that I looked at. And uh, and uh, Rick Grendel was was my mentor. That's his paint box right there. His family gave me that box when he passed, and they gave me his uh, milk crate with uh, the paints that he had. So what I did here is I did just a simple simple lines down the middle. I did a spider web and then I bordered it and I left it really plain and simple. I just used two colors. So where did the term wicked lines come from? Well, back in the day when my hot rod was satin black, I was going to Grand Nationals for the first time in 2011. And so, uh, of course, one of the things I thought to myself, well, I need a show sign. I've got to have a show sign. People want to see what you have. You know, that's all part of the whole thing, you know? So, I went to my pinstriper, Rick Grendel, and I said, Rick, I want to do a show sign. And he said, okay, what do you want to do with it? And I said, well, I, you know, I need a name. He said, do you have a name for your car? And he said, that's kind of cheesy if you ask me. Mm -hmm. He was a beat that kind of guy. And I said, well, yeah, those are kind of the rules. That's kind of what you do, you know? So I says, I don't know, Rick. Wicked, wicked satin, satin, black satin, uh, I, I don't know. And he said, wicked, you like wicked? I go, yeah, I like wicked, I guess. How about wicked satin? How about wicked suede? He looked at me and he says, how about wicked in suede? And I said, okay, let's do that. So he, he painted my sign, hand painted it, and it was wicked in suede. Uh, when I started striping, uh, my daughter, you know, was talking to me, and she said, "Daddy, you need to, you need to put a name. You need to do, you need to do something." Because I started seeing this stuff getting serious, and uh, wicked lines seemed appropriate. It's been a fun ride. I, I like I say, I've, I've had opportunity. I've, I've done a lot of things in a short time. Uh, people have been really good to me. I love doing what I do, and uh, it's the people that drive me. Uh, if they stop and see what I'm doing, uh, I show them. Um, if they ask a question, I take the time. If, uh, if I can just keep doing this longer, the better things get for me, the more scared I get 
of not finishing and and then I end. And I'm not ready for that. I did cancer, my wife did cancer, uh, scariest things we ever did. But I'm not done yet. And uh, so I just keep doing as much as I can, as long as I can. And uh, and that's, uh, that's my story. And that's what I'm gonna stick with. <laughs> Hi, I'm Pinky Sway and you're watching Black Top TV.